Last week, we reported on Conservative MP Peter Goldring and his spy pen. We decided this story needed an in-depth report, so we sent our senior espionage correspondent Mark Critch to do some spying of his own. I wanted to beat Goldring at his own game, so I protected myself with these hidden camera spy glasses. I then inconspicuously hid this GoPro behind my tie, and I enlisted the aid of a 60-year-old CBC Union cameraman. <laughs> Is that natural, Pete? Mr. Goldring, of course, I am pretty sure you are taping me right now with your pen, but would you be surprised to learn, sir, that I am taping you? Not a bit. What, what gave it away? Well, I suppose it's your wonderful looking tie that you have on. I mean, it's rather intriguing. Uh, I think in the room I can count about half a dozen different cameras. And of course, you know, we're on the obvious one here in the corner too. He saw you, idiot. Do people always leave the bathroom when you walk in? <laughs> You're not gonna walk up to a urinal next to no. Trudeau and say, hey, do you wanna borrow my pen? Nothing weird. No more than anybody would pull out a cell phone and take pictures there, too. Well, it is true what we're yeah, talking yeah. about, so... Yeah, everybody's carrying that. And I'm not sure they allow your cameras in the washroom or not. We'll find out. Right. Why did you start using the pen? Well, I was coming back from Ukraine on the plane, and there it was in the catalog. And, uh, in, like, Sky Mall magazine. Yeah, yeah. Home of the uh, wine glass lanyard and Roswell the uh, butler. I went through a pretty bad period of time for a year and a half, and it occurred to me when I looked at it, that's exactly what I should have had then. Why not just not do anything illegal? Why do the police not want to have cameras? That's the more important question, because they would save court time. Even a day of court time is $25,000. You're like a, a James Bond villain or something, or, a, or, or, or James Bond himself. Gold oh. ringer. <laughs> He's the man, the man with the golden pen. You. That would be Goldfinger. Go well. They used to call me that back in the 60s when I was in the military. You were in the military too? Who are you really, Goldringer? You're an international man of mystery. Would you be surprised if this isn't my only camera in the room? Picture up there of Preston Manning. Wait and watch for it. When he blinks, he's that taking a still. I don't know what's creepier, that there's a camera hidden in the Preston Manning picture, or that you have a picture of Preston Manning in your office. I was the first one out to support Preston, because uh, I believe you dance with the fella that brung you, and uh, I had that much respect you for him. Preston dancing. Wow. What song so would that be? Speak. Can we look at some of your footage? Yeah, sure. This is some footage you shot earlier in the year, a table. This is. You doing your nails? This is your thumb. You're like my dad setting the VCR. You're terrible at this, Peter. You're a horrible spy. It's a good picture of the inside of my pocket. I gotta do this myself. Just Wanna bore my pen? I don't think so. Just bore I'm my pen. I'm coming in for an air kiss. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Mwah. Mwah. Very nice. See you, Elizabeth. That's how you spy. <laughs> how you frank, Tom? What are you doing here, Mark? That's a horrible pen here. Use, use this one, Tom. What's up with the light here? I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here. Get out of here. Take the pen, Tom. Don't be such a baby. Take the pen. I don't want your pen. Ow.